An artillery unit must not only be able to attack far targets, but also attack fast and accurately. In a joint live exercise organized by a brigade of the 72nd Army, new drones and new reconnaissance vehicles became the clairvoyance of the artillery unit. They can not only provide real-time battlefield dynamic information and target coordinates for the units, but also use laser irradiators to guide laser terminal guided shells to launch scalpel-like precision strikes. The full-time, multi-directional reconnaissance battlefield information is to provide powerful intelligence support for the commander to draw a strike plan, especially the target laser irradiation guide. Right after a firing, we have to lock the target all the time. A slight deviation will have a great impact on the outcome of a live ammunition shooting. After the first blow, they immediately moved to the second position. As soon as they entered the positions, the drones and reconnaissance vehicles sent information on the enemy's firepower. The artillery unit launched another attack within a short period of time, completely destroying the target. With new reconnaissance technologies and guidance methods, we can accurately strike targets dozens of kilometers away. The accuracy is within one meter, considerably shorten the fire response time and improve the battlefield survivability. With ordinary projectiles, we need to fire a dozen or dozens of rounds in order to hit a target. Using laser terminal guided projectiles, we can hit the target with only one shot with pinpoint accuracy. In the early morning, the roar of cars cut through the tranquility of the Gobi Desert. In this endless no-man's land, apart from the ruts, there are only scattered camel thorns swaying from side to side in the wind, as if feeling anxious about the upcoming battle. The battle is approaching, but Ji Yu Jichen, an 11 year old scout who has been in the army, is a little abnormal. He has always been swift, but he was a little daunted today. This task is very important because we rely on it to guide the shells to hit the target. Compared with ordinary artillery shells, laser terminal guided artillery shells are launched that will be guided by laser signal in the last stage as approaching a target. The key to improving the hit rate is using the laser irradiator to track the target accurately and stably. This time, the live ammunition assessment organized by an artillery brigade of the Army's 73rd Army Group is about to begin. As a laser irradiator operator, Ji Yu Jichen became the focus of the entire brigade because his success or failure not only carries the honor of the entire unit, but also is the key to the success of this live ammunition shooting. The target is a moving target. It is difficult to grasp it and guide the shell accurately to hit it during its movement. An off-road vehicle was maneuvering rapidly just about two kilometers away from him. There is no driver in this car. It turns out that this soldier wearing VR glasses and holding a remote control is the driver of an off-road vehicle. This scrapped car has been modified and turned into a remote control car. In this assessment, it will be used as a moving target to simulate enemy artillery. Ji Yu Jichen, who was at the observation post, wanted to guide the laser terminal guided artillery shells to hit the moving car. Ordinary shells have a certain range of dispersion. It may take dozens or dozens of shells to hit a target. The laser terminal guided shells need to be guided by me. One shot can hit the target. 
In 2013, he started to learn laser terminal guided weapon systems. In the mission action rehearsal that year, the mission was successfully completed with the results of two rounds and two hits. And in the following several laser irradiation missions, he has never failed, and made a lot of shots. There are dozens of targets in this live ammunition shooting, but shooting a moving target is difficult, which Ji-Yu Jichen wanted to break through. I hope there is a breakthrough in my hands. My old squad leader also broke through the shot at the whole target. The targeting of a hole is to simulate the enemy's permanent artillery fortification and guide the cannonball through the narrow hole to hit the target. With this extremely difficult task, Ji-Yu Jichen's old squad leader broke the record first. Ji-Yu Jichen of course also achieved this a few years ago. At this moment, what he hopes most is to be able to break through the obstacles of moving vehicle shooting missions in one fell swoop. Because the front of the car is relatively low, it is not easy to adjust the height by fingers to track. A little too high, the shell will hit the back of the car. A little lower, it will hit the front of the car. Although he wanted to set a record of first hits on moving targets, he knew it was difficult. According to the plan, he will guide the launch of two artillery shells. The first shooting a fixed target. The second shot is a moving target. There is only one chance to shoot each target. Therefore, each of his operations must be accurate. Even how to set up the laser irradiator on this small hill had been carefully considered by him. If it is placed in a car, the equipment needs to be raised. This will be affected by the wind. The wind is relatively strong today. On the ground, it is more stable. He considered almost every factor that might affect the accuracy of aiming. Even so, no one knows whether it can hit the moving target. Because I don't know the speed he will drive, and I don't know if I can keep on aiming. I only have a chance with one shell. To hit the remote-controlled car with unknown speed and changeable direction, it is far from enough to rely on his precise aiming. It also needs his full cooperation with the artillery squad. Before the live ammunition fired, the gunner He Zhangzheng led the fire crew at the artillery position a dozen of kilometers away. This is also a brand new test for He Zhang. This is an indirect shooting. When hitting the moving target, I can't see the target at all. I can only collaborate with observers. Use this tacit understanding between us to hit this target, in terms of timing control and understanding. A squad of He Zhang Shen, during this shooting test, Ji Yu Jichen observed at the front the artillery squad aimed at the target and guided him to strike the target. It is a test of the tacit understanding between the two. The main purpose of this live ammunition tactical exercise is to fully measure an indicator of the performance of warfare technology. The other is to test our strength and result in a pre-training cross from battalion to platoon. The strike should be absolutely fast and relatively accurate. This vehicle-mounted howitzer is the star equipment of the 2019 military parade. The degree of informatization and automation is very high. After being distributed to the troops, the brigade maneuvered to the northwest Gobi for a long distance, in order to forge the ability of the troops to fight across the territory. The live ammunition assessment of the training results in the testing phase is about to begin. However, just after choosing the artillery position, He Zhang, who has always been calm in his work, suddenly became angry. Uh, 
没到位，但实打实的，怎么办？速度没有贴紧，会影响射击精度。Stationing pits is an important preparatory work for setting up artillery positions. The compact pit hoe helps to improve the accuracy of the artillery. Therefore, meeting requirements for shape and size is important. A recruit Chu Yingbin has been in the army for less than a year. Because of his quick action and skill, he served as the deputy squad leader in this live ammunition shooting. However, when digging the pit, his performance made He Zhang very worried. 把这个脚再修一下，还发什么呢？赶快挖！脚脚脚脚，脚的位置，再有点劲，再使点劲，回进来就可以不挖到位是吧？ Digging a pit may seem simple, but it is not easy to do it right. Because it takes a lot of time and physical strength, Chu Yingbin is a little weak at this time. With this kind of hard soil, my hands are prone to blistering when I work too long. Regardless of the pain in the palm of his hand, he continued to modify the shape of the pit under He Zhang's guidance. They must be fully prepared before the live ammunition starts. I also just learned this technique. I may not master it very well, so I didn't do right the first time. I am also sad. If the pit shape is not right, the position of the gun body will shift during the shooting process, which may directly cause the shell to fail to hit the target. Seeing that the other artillery squads had been completed, Chu Yingbin was a little anxious. At this time, Ji Yu Kitchen at the observation post was also a little anxious. In order to make a hit, he practiced aiming repeatedly. Cannot shake my hands. If my hand shakes, the center of the cross will deviate from the target, causing shaking. It is difficult to track and seems unable to lock the moving target. In fact, tracking a moving target is difficult for any laser irradiator. I used to hit fixed targets. As long as I was prepared in the early stage, I could hit the target if I aimed at the target. Not only must he master the laser irradiation skills himself, but he must also work closely with the artillery squad. In order to cultivate a tacit understanding, as early as a week before the start of the drill, he deliberately found He Zhanghao to exchange their positions, learn from each other and understand each other's operations. Interlaced like mountains. In He Zhang's opinion, the simplest concept was a blank look on Ji Yu Jichen. And when He Zhang arrived at Qing Jichen's post, it was no better. If you want to aim with a laser irradiator, it seems simple but not easy to do. He Zhang's aiming fluctuated from high to low. It can be seen that Ji Yu Jichen's steady operation was not an overnight effort. I am now mainly training the ability to control the up, down, left, and right of laser beam point. The outline of the Kilian Mountains can be seen in the distance. I can sweep the beam point from the left side of the mountain to the right side as reference smoothly. The time is just enough to shoot down this moving target. All efforts are only for this moment of firing. The live fire drill is about to begin. Whether the running in between Ji Yu Jichen and He Zhang's partner can withstand the test of live ammunition will be revealed soon.
Under He Zhang's leadership, Chu Yingbin has successfully built the ground pit and firmly fixed the bracket of the artillery. However, at this moment the weather has changed suddenly. Not only is it about to rain but also sandstorms are coming. The sandstorm has covered the target area. It was already pouring rain at the observation post where Ji Yu Jichen was. The tent is in danger of being blown away at any time. After more than two hours of heavy rain, Ji Yu Jichen, who was trembling with the cold wind, stood at the observation point again. Everyone realized that we ran into another problem quietly. I can't see clearly, because if I look through the laser irradiator, the target is obviously reduced to a point. Can't see any reference surrounding it. The sun secretly set amidst the clouds. The sky is no longer lighting, and the target area is blurred. It is indeed dark. At that time, basically nothing was visible in the target area on the battlefield. No one can illuminate the target for you. It is upon you to find the enemy in dim conditions, and to destroy the enemy. Since this drill is a test of effectiveness, we are allowed to fail. The principle of day and night is actually the same. It is a test of our operational skill set. The darker the sky, the more difficult for laser irradiating hands. Faced with such a harsh environment, everyone has prepared for the worst. So the first shot at a fixed target, can he Zhang hit the target? He did, hit the target. Although the light is not good, shooting at a fixed target is quite certain to Ji Yu Jichen in his heart. Hitting a stationary target is expected. The most difficult is the second shot, at which is the moving target. Because this car appeared and disappeared unexpectedly. The first shooting of a moving target was when it was dark. This means that he must challenge the guiding of laser terminal guided shells at night. This is extremely challenging for him. The direction of the car is not towards me. It is moving in the other direction. As long as there is a slope, I can't see the lights of the car if the front of the car goes down. The road is uneven, ups and downs. The car could be blocked by many shelters nearby. It was dark all around. He Zhang in the artillery position is always waiting for Ji Yu Jichen's instruction and is ready to fire. Reporting, one shot was fired. Over. After He Zhang launches the laser terminal guided projectile, Ji Yu Jichen will also use the laser signal to guide the projectile toward to the remote controlled car. Whether it can hit or not, every second is particularly difficult. He Zhang kept the phone close to his ear, for fear of missing any news. At this time, Ji Yu Jichen focused his attention, staring at the car lights in the darkness. I can no longer see the location, but a light spot. I only know that the lights are in the front of the car. 
In the darkness, even though he was in a desperate situation, his excellent skills helped him accomplish the shooting mission brilliantly. Hit the target. Hit the target. Long lost smiles appeared on the faces of these soldiers. They proved themselves with their strength and proved that they dared to challenge the difficulty and dangers that come at any time in any complex environment. Expectations are high. One aspect is the result of the effectiveness test, and the other is a breakthrough in my own skill set that is to aim at and shoot down a moving target. Ji Jichen fulfilled his wish to hit the moving target. The gunner He Zhang led the new fighters to continue to challenge more difficulty. On the journey of training and preparing for war, these young soldiers are not afraid to train hard.